everyone and welcome back to my channel. So let's not pay attention to my shit hair today. Uh, going to get a haircut in a few so mm, this is just the best I could do. So today what I wanted to do was review the Bare Minerals new stick foundation. I am going to be doing kind of like a first impressions and then also a wear test. So if you like to see how this looks, how this applies, how much it is and all that good stuff then just go ahead and keep on. So today what I'm doing as you know from the intro is reviewing the new Bare Minerals stick foundation. So this is called the Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. I have it in the shade Suede 04. So I just want to go ahead and pop this on my face, kind of see how it feels, and then I'll be doing check-ins throughout the day to see how it wears. So I did prep my skin. I put a little bit of the Drunk Elephant Tinted Sunscreen on and then also applied the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I want to do what I would usually do on a day-to-day -day basis when I apply any foundation. I don't want to steer away from what I'm doing. I don't want to try it without a primer because I do use the Silk Canvas a lot so I really am a fan of the packaging it's like a really nice champagne -y color and inside of here this is how much product you get now this is 0.35 ounces which is a little bit more than say your regular hourglass stick right here which is 0.25 and the bare minerals like I said is 0.35 so I'm hoping that this shade matches me Okay, this feels very hydrating and it literally just like melted on my skin as I dragged it on. Like with the hourglass, it's a little bit of a drier formula. So let's see, I'm going to start to blend this out. I'm using my beauty blender, which usually with stick foundations, they want you to use a brush, but I don't usually use brushes on my face. I use beauty blenders. The color is fine. I am not complaining about that at all. Now let's see a little bit more information on this foundation. So this is broad spectrum SPF 25, which is amazing. It is vegan, it's gluten free, it's synthetic and fragrance free, and it's cruelty free. Full of fresh, clean coverage, free of pore clogging oils. Bare Minerals is actually really good about um, creating good products for your skin. And they seem to have a pretty decent shade range. Now they only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They only have 20 shades, but from what I can see, it's a very good mix of light, very good mix of medium, and very good mix of dark. This foundation is supposed to be a medium buildable coverage with naturally radiant finish as well as daily sun protection. Um, it can be used as a foundation concealer for touch-ups or to contour, so depending on what shades you get. Um, it is very, like, creamy and blendable. Um, I can see that with one layer, I didn't get nearly enough coverage like I would want to, so I'm gonna have to layer this up, so we'll see how it layers. But just with a couple of swipes on my face, it looks a little more pulled together, but not anywhere, like, this is obviously, like, still showing, so I need to give it... A couple more layers probably. So it is enhanced with mineral water from Jeju Island in South Korea, which is naturally purified and fortified with 16 minerals, um, which this is what helps provide the burst of moisture and refreshing hydration, which I could tell because the formula is like, it's a stick, but it's so soft to the skin. Um, it also has mineral-based sunscreen in here to protect from UV rays, and then olive-derived squalane which nourishes skin and helps protect against moisture loss and then this also has red algae which hydrates the skin instantly and over time uh this should do a really good job of moisturizing your skin throughout the day um so i'm gonna go and apply a second layer of this it just feels like cooling water was just applied to my face it's really interesting i kind of do like that i feel like it's a very good morning foundation to kind of waken you up so I do like my foundations to be a tiny bit darker than I am, you know, to not make me look super pale. And I really do like this color. And this really is so easy to blend out and it didn't seem like it dried out on any areas because I did apply it all over my face and then blended it out. Sometimes when you do that, one side of your face will kind of be a little bit harder to blend out, but this kind of just really nicely dispersed all over. I didn't have to drag it. I am okay with this coverage at this point, so this is two layers. I need to do something with this, but I feel like this is going to be more of a concealer's job at this point because it's such a dark and pesky little piece of shit. I am going to go and apply some of my Tarte Shape Tape just because clearly I need a little bit more coverage in those areas. So I do kind of wonder how this foundation will be on people with oily skin who really don't need much more hydration. I wonder if they're going to need to set it way more to make sure that, 
you know, it looks good. It does say that it's supposed to be a, um, a naturally radiant finish. So I hope that setting it doesn't change the appearance because it does look really nice and like dewy and natural and like I'm just having a really good skin day. Um, so I am going to set my face with some cover effects powder. Lately what I have been doing is just setting underneath my eyes, on my chin, and on my forehead. I don't like to over powder anymore just in specific areas like if I feel like I've done my whole makeup and I feel like I'm looking a little bit shiny in certain areas that I would naturally kind of be a little more oily in I'll take a little brush like this go back into my setting powder and kind of dust it in those very specific areas to make sure that I'm not dusting this all over with like a big brush I want to see how things blend on this even though I didn't set it all that much so I'm gonna go into my hula bronzer and a little buffing brush like this which is what I've been doing with a lot of my foundations and at first I stipple this on and then I will kind of blend it out um, with new foundations this kind of worries me because the foundation because it's not set super super down it could move the product around so that's very important to me so that's why I kind of stipple and use buffing motions I don't want my foundation to slip out from underneath I can't really feel it on my face um, it does feel very hydrating, but it doesn't feel cakey. I just hope that because it's so hydrating, it doesn't slip off my face throughout the day. That would be problematic because then what's the point of having a foundation on if it's just going to slip off? Like, I do think this looks so pretty on the skin. Like, wow. Um, and I'm also going to use a little bit of a highlighter here. Um, I'm just going to use my finger to go into this Amrezy and kind of dab this on to the high cheeks. I'm going to do a tiny bit on my nose. Those are really the two areas that I focus on when it comes to highlight. And then I'm going to go and kind of bounce this into my skin with the fat end of my beauty sponge. And now taking this brush right here, I'm going to go into the areas that I usually kind of am a tiny bit more oily in. So I'm going to go right around the nose here and upper lip this is literally the only place that I sweat and it's so funny and I'm gonna go right in these corners here because I do tend to wear sunglasses because it is shiny and sunny outside and I'm gonna go right in between my brows here and I feel like that's really about it everywhere else I think it should stay very nicely um, I'm gonna try and conceal this a little bit with a different um, kind of skin tone powder a little bit later on so I'm gonna go off the camera and I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my eyes and my lips and set the rest of my face and I'm gonna jump back on and we'll kind of talk about how I feel about it after everything is on and then I'll do check-ins throughout the day and then I'll wrap up my mind later on tonight so I'm gonna jump off and I'll see you in a little bit so this is super zoomed in but I just wanted to show you how nice my skin looks like up close dewy and healthy my skin looks with this foundation oh, I'm obsessed. sorry you have to be so close to my face but this is the only way to uh, show you what I'm talking about so <laughs> we're gonna zoom back out now and uh, we'll talk about this so this foundation retails for $32 and it has almost five stars so a lot of people are loving it this foundation is definitely medium coverage and definitely pretty buildable. Um, it's not going to cover big things like this right here. I think like nothing really could cover this. There's just no no saving that. So um, this foundation is so nice looking on the skin. Like it just looks so radiant and so natural and I am such a big fan of that. Um, I hope that it does not break down because I don't want to overset my face. I want this to look really nice and natural and I did definitely do a good job of setting it right around my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. Um, on my cheeks, I don't really tend to set it. Like, it sets itself when I do some contouring or bronzing and things like that. So, um, I think that it should be okay. I do live in Florida, so it's hot and humid. So, we'll see. We'll really put it to the test. Definitely will be out and about doing things. So, definitely will have a good verdict at the end of the day on how this wears. But... I think it's definitely so pretty. It applied so beautifully. I like that it's cruelty-free, gluten-free, that it's vegan, and it's just all of these beautiful things. They're taken into consideration that people want to know what's in their products and they want their products to be healthy. 
what I'm putting on me, I want to be the best that it can be. So this is definitely something that's really, really beautiful. This is amazing for traveling, which is such a big hit for me. I'm so into stick foundations just because of that. Um, and this is definitely super, super hydrating. The formula in here is just so creamy and so smooth and just like blends out like a dream don't have to try so hard so this is a very nice and quick like five minute out the door type of makeup item I would say um, it makes your life really easy so versatile to be used as a foundation as a concealer as a touch-up so this should go very well over powders as well if it's a touch-up and would be really nice for contouring because of how easily this blends out I can't wait to see how this wears I'm super super content with it right now looks so good mm, I just can't wait for my hair to not look like shit so I will be checking in with you in a little bit so yeah I will see you in a little bit and we'll go ahead and wrap up so as always coming to you with the check-in with the most awkward angle ever um, looking like a hot mess right now um, so basically just wanted to do a quick check-in to show you what the skin looks like I have had it on for maybe like nine hours at this point and it kind of did wear, wear down and I think the problem here is the fact that I didn't overly set it when it's not a very matte foundation. Um, so I think to really salvage this foundation I'm going to have to set it a little bit more abundantly if I'm trying to wear it as an all day thing. It kind of wore down on my jaw. Obviously I'm the type of person that kind of plays around with my face a lot. Um, Everywhere else it kind of looks good. It bunched up a tiny bit right here um, and it sunk in a little bit into my forehead lines. Like from far away it still looks really really good and really nice and in my mirror it's looking really really good. I could still wear this for another couple hours without it like fully breaking down but the areas that I do touch a lot I would definitely have to powder more just because it is a very like natural kind of foundation and it's very very nice and hydrating. It didn't cling to any dry patches. This is actually not looking as bad as it would with other foundations at the end of the day so I'm very content with that. If you have dry skin I think this would look so beautiful on you. Um, if you have oily skin obviously you would have to set this a little bit more but I think for the benefits that this offers it's definitely a really amazing foundation and for the price and for just knowing that you're using a good foundation for your skin totally totally worth it. I actually <laughs> my camera's falling out of my hand. Um, I actually do really really like this foundation. I can't wait to keep using it so checking out on a very positive Positive note definitely really awesome stuff here um, yeah so thank you so much for watching so I will see you in the next one bye